Here we are! Holy Family University here in Philadelphia. This is Frankfurt Ave. We are in the northeast section of Philadelphia and today what we're going to do is we're going to walk around the campus of Holy Family University. A few a week ago, I explored the campus of Princeton University. And I did that on scooter uh, because the campus is so big and there are giant stadiums. This campus, we're walking. We're walking. Um, Holy Family is a Catholic um, college. There he is. Shirtless motorcycle guy in the Catholic college. Um, the average cost, looks like, so before I came out of the car, I Googled something. So I Googled Holy Family University. Because I actually, I wanted to know who is the Holy Family. Are we talking Jesus, Mary, Joseph, right? Or are we talking about like, the Holy Family, see that I look at that symbol and may, maybe Jesus, God, Holy Spirit. Uh, I don't know. So that's why at first I was Googling who's the Holy Family. And then, uh, so then I Googled the, the average tuition after aid is $15,000. The average tuition at Princeton after aid is $9,000. So this school is more expensive than Princeton. The graduation rate, I think it's around 68%. Princeton's 96%. And the acceptance rate is like 78%, where Princeton's uh, 6%. So, uh, more money, less prestige, but you get accepted easier. So, nurse education building. Okay. So, there are other college campuses in the city of Philadelphia. Temple University, uh, they have their own security force. I don't, I, you, you know, they have these call boxes. So if you need any help, boom, boom, they'll come and get you. I, I, I wonder how many times those were ever pushed. I bet you, never. I don't, I can't imagine why you would need to. There we go. Here's a gazebo in the middle of this spot. Oh, this is the. Uh, I don't know how many traditions they have at this school. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a solar panel. I tell you, I'm looking at the, the this building. Looks looks like a grade school to me, right? Does that look like a grade school? There we go. Look at this. Not really much to the campus. Yeah, this definitely looks like 50s, 60s architecture. Um, which is a little bit better than the architecture they use today. Because I, I think the shit that they build today... Just looks like you could blow a house over with... Uh, I don't know. A, a gust of wind. Here it is. St. Joseph's Hall. How you doing, St. Joseph? Maybe he's the Holy Family. St. Joseph, that's the dad. There you go. Well, is he the dad? I mean, I don't know. Because God's the dad, right? Never. Well, that's a tough one to explain to somebody who doesn't understand it. What do you mean? God is Jesus? Yes. The Holy Spirit's God? Yep. And Jesus is... Does that, does that mean Jesus slept with his mother? No, God did. That doesn't make any sense. I know. It's religion. I saw an article. I saw an article, I think. Oh, what was it? 60 Minutes? Oh, look at this. I saw an article in 60 Minutes. And they said, uh... 
that in 20 years, there's only going to be a thousand nuns in the world. And I think something like 900 priests. So I tell you what, if I was thinking about becoming a priest, I think now's a good time to do it, right? You join. Chances of you becoming Pope gotta be good. Right? I mean, how many... There's 9,000 priests. You, you become a bishop. Uh-oh. Oh, what's the day? Oh, the library's closed. Where is it? It says, do not enter. So they got these benches right here out in the sun. They got these trees. Could have put the benches under the trees. But this isn't Princeton. You can't see, you can't think. <laughs> this is exciting. You got this little walkway. Lots of buses come by this this uh Frankfurt Ave. So this is, if you're going to take public transportation, um, especially if you live in Northeast Philly, super easy, convenient to get to. Oh, this better not be locked. If this is locked, I'm... So, here's those tiny little... Houses. It, this is, we're in Philadelphia still, but we don't have row homes here. We have twins, and then we got the single uh, single home. Some of these houses are really old. Um, some of them go back to the 1700s. Not on this block, but on Frankfurt Ave. There are some uh, old things. Here we go. Look at this. Back at it. Holy Family University. Let's do it. Be, kids are getting ready to go back to the dorms. Very exciting. I'm sure if you're a college-age student, <laughs> you would really want to live in Northeast Philly. You want to live in Center City, Philly. That's where all the fun is. Although, maybe you want to live here and travel to Center City, Philadelphia. You get two buses. No, one bus and a train. You're there. I don't know if you want to take the train there, though, to set the market Frankfurt L to uh, Center City, Philadelphia. Uh, it's as lawlessness as it gets before it's pure chaos, if that makes... Like, it's pretty crazy on the L, the public transportation you take to uh, Center City. Um, my daughter is getting ready to go to high school. And she may have to take the L. And I'll tell you the truth. Um, I think my ass is getting up early and driving her in. Just because I just don't... You gotta have street smarts to take the L. Which he ain't got. He ain't got street smarts. But she's smart, so God bless her. Maybe one day she'll go to Princeton, not here. <clears throat> Not Catholic. No. Hey, look at this building. This building's wow. This kind of looks like a little uh, Greek revival architecture. Huh. There we go. Who's this? Is this the Holy Family? We got. I don't know. Isn't it funny that you can look at a religious statue and know what character it is? All right. Well, I'm thinking this is the Holy Family. This is it. Questions asked, questions answered. That's uh, that's Joseph. Hey, look at the way he's staring at Jesus. He's like, I don't know if this is really my kid. And Mary's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you worry about it. And he's like, Yeah, but we didn't we didn't have sex. Like, ah, that's the Bible book I want to see. How she explained that. If you don't know, if you're not Catholic what Catholics oh I think it might be all Christians that believe this they believe that Mary 
uh, was a virgin. She didn't, she didn't get pregnant the way, uh, you know, people get pregnant. And uh, so they call it the Immaculate Conception. I think the greatest miracle of all time is Joseph didn't, you know. Oh, who's watching this? Damn it. You, sometimes you got to know your audience. And, and talking, yeah. that's all right. Hey, Ma, I think we're ready to go. I think I'm going to make my choice. I'm going to go to Holy Family College. But before, let me take a tour of the campus on YouTube. This guy seems nice. 20 minutes later, she, she left the Catholic Church. Yeah, man, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Look at this. Nazareth Academy High School. This is the high school? This isn't even the college. This is the high school. This is where my cousin went to high school. Holy shit, the high school's nicer than the college. I'll tell you the truth. Look at this. Nazareth Academy. Wow. That looks like a palace. Look at this dump of a university. Well, that building looks kind of nice. Now, it reminds me more of a rich private school. Oh, did we walk? No, that's that way. We'll come back to that. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Nun Graveyard coming up. We're going to just check out the Holy Family. Uh, stadium. I don't know if it's their stadium. I guess they play stuff here. Yo, know, I was so... Uh, earlier this year, in 2022... Um, baseball season didn't start on time. Like, baseball season, they were having, like, a contract strike or whatever. They, a holdout. They were having a holdout, and they were having the players play. I, I was so jonesing for a baseball game. I was getting ready to come to one of these colleges to watch, like, Holy Family, and I think the only other college that has a baseball team, it might be Penn? A lot of the baseball teams in Philadelphia disbanded. Um, I think Drexel just broke up. And uh, Temple doesn't have a baseball team. There it is. Stevenson Lane Residence. Oh, we got some more statues. I wonder if it's of the Holy Family. I'll tell you what, you get a good tan walk in this campus. A lot of trees, but not on any of the paths. Let's see. Uh oh. Now I was raised Catholic, so I can. I was real. I was like a really good Catholic. I was an altar boy. I, I even questioned about becoming a priest when I was like 14, but then I realized I wanted to have sex, so I said I can't do it. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh. This is. He's a. Uh, this is Jesus, right? Jesus, right? He's like, all right. So this is what you do. Five plus five is ten, right? I'm like, oh, okay. I know this Jesus, but he's like, all right. So this is Professor Jesus. Professor Jesus and gang. There we go. That's the name of that one. That might be my favorite statue in the entire city. I'll tell you the truth. I, <laughs> I love that statue. Jesus just hanging out with the kids. <laughs> so, uh, so G, what do you say? What would you say if you met Jesus? I would say, why is it so much more money to go to Holy Family University than it is Princeton? Don't you think college should be free? And he would say, yes, my son. And that would be it. That would be the whole conversation.
Oh man, this smells like, just like Princeton's field. This must be uh, all recycled plastic, like recycled tires. They make that into the field and they paint like a green grass. Well, if you were wondering, the Holy Family uh, mascot is a tiger. And uh, <laughs> what their mascot really should be. Their logo should be a path in the sun with no trees. That's what, that's what their logo should be. <laughs> Just this. <laughs> Holy Family University. Come pale white. Leave a bronze god. That's good too. You got you got picnic tables. These are nice. They're metal, so if you sit down on them right now, you get third degree burns. I'm being mean. Now I'm just being mean to be mean. I don't mean to be. All right, I, I like the statue. I like the corner of that building. I'm not a big fan of 50s, 60s architecture. Because mostly, if you look at this building, what is it? It's mostly bricks. That's what they did. They just... I mean, it's smart because don't, these things are going to last forever. But um, they're ugly. At least this has, like, some different brick logo work or whatever. Um, brick layer. Uh, who, who gives a fuck? I can't talk right now. I'm too high. I'm, I'm baking in the sun here at Holy Family University. Holy God. Okay, there's more there's more tables over there if you want to sit in the sun. It's not even hot out today. It's like 82 degrees. Never sweat it this much in my life. Know what it is too? Everything's black. <laughs> it's all parking lot. And there's some more tables. This is nice. And then here we go. Let's get ready to have a nightmare. Let's go to the Nun Graveyard. I believe there's a convent on this campus. Wow. There they are. Look at this. Many stages of the Holy Family. Here's another one. Look, see the way Joseph's staring at him? He's like, ah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, now he's got his arm around her. He goes, oh, we'll work through it. No problem. So. When these nuns pass away. They get, instead of, it looks like. Huh. It's like three, six, twenty-one, seven, six, no, eleven. So that must be the month they died, the date they died, and the year. So the last one that died was twenty twenty-one. And the first one to die. I'm going to guess they're in this one. How do you believe this many people? Think about it. They dedicated their life. All of their life to their religion. Forty. There's, that's the Jesus. I. It's crucified Jesus. And it looks like our first nun, 1938. We're looking at 37. I got 37, 36, 34, 33, 32, 30, 29, 23, 18. There we go. 1918. That's our first nun. 
Fun fact, this is not the only nun graveyard on this street. You go up about, oh, two miles. There's another, it's a Catherine Drexel shrine. It's no longer a shrine. It's just a, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but they uh, they took Catherine Drexel, the nun. She was a, she's a saint, a Catholic saint. There was a statue here. They took it down. Um, Catherine Drexel was a saint. She's Philadelphia saint. And to be a saint, you got to be, you know, the Pope has to say, like, deem you a saint, right? So she's a saint, and she's buried. She was buried in the in, right outside of Philly, or maybe right on the borderline of where Philly ends and Ben Salem starts. And uh, she's she had a grave in this church, and a few years ago they dug her up, and they buried her in a church in Center City. But the thing is, her mom and dad, her entire family is buried up here. So I don't know. I don't know if that's what she would want. But then maybe she gave herself to Christ. Maybe uh, maybe that's what she would want. Who knows? Tiger's Cafe. There it is. The art. That's what I come here for. The art. It's a picture of a liger. It's pretty much my favorite fig. It's a combination of a tiger and a lion. I can't do a Napoleon dynamite impression. Okay, well, some of these seats are in the shade. I didn't go to college. Uh, never would have been my thing. There's no way I would have graduated college. I cheated my entire time in high school. So I couldn't, I couldn't do English 101, Math 101. I couldn't do any of them. So no need for college. Not for me, at least. But for some jobs, you need to go to college. I always find it odd that there are jobs where you make $40,000 a year and you have to have like a bachelor's degree for it. Um, That seems silly because you can make more money as a retail manager. I guess maybe the hours are better for the college job, but actually, you make actually you make a lot more than forty thousand dollars as a retail manager. I mean, do it at a real store. You gotta go to a real company. Like if you're gonna work for like, I don't know, like a Jagan store in a mall, you're gonna make like a twelve bucks an hour. But if you get like a Dick Sporting Good. Make 40, 50, 60 G's a year. That's assistant manager. I'm not even talking store manager. So I guess that's the moral of the story. You don't go to Holy Family College. Work at Dick's. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. I'll tell you, the best parking. Can't I? I mean, the best parking. So many parking spaces. More parking spaces than you could shake a stick at. Toodles!